All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's training. Today is uh, Saturday, September 9th, and uh, my name is Kyla Bueller. I am a presidential silver ambassador with Relive. My husband and I have been with Relive now in just a little over a month. It'll be 26 years, and I'm sure that some of you that are on the call are not even that old. <laughs> so. I'm filling in today for Diane Gibson and Linda Leitz. Uh Diane's son was getting married, and uh, I obviously, you know, said, yep, absolutely, I'd love to be able to uh, do the training today. So I'm excited to be here. There's a lot to cover. Um, as always, one of the things that I'd like to do in just a second is I want to open up and hear the successes that uh, individuals have this week. I do want to let you know I, I texted um, Tom Pennick last night. And um, just, you know, wished safe for he and his family. And as everyone on the phone knows, he has a beautiful home in Florida that they had just built, their dream home. And um, anyway, it's obviously in, in the reality of being destroyed. So uh, he said that, you know, it's going to be a bad one. So keep Tom in your prayers. And also want to remember all the individuals in Houston. I know that April Reynolds, uh, she's in our organization. Um, she was very blessed because the, the water came right up to her house, but yet they did not get flooded. So she was one of the few. And she was just sharing with me all the things that they've done all week. Um, she's been going out and helping muck out people's homes. And her home has kind of been a command center with the church. And so it's been kind of an interesting um, experience. She's going to be talking probably later on in one of our calls about that. So, you know, it does make you want to think that you want to make sure you have enough product on hand. You know, one of the things that uh, I always do, I, I'm kind of a OCD person, but I always make my shakes up like a month ahead because I want to make sure I never run out. <laughs> and so I have them made up for all the days of the month, and I put them in, the, you know, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I put all the other stuff I want in them if I want certain bars I want to eat or whatever it is. But uh, I feel better that way because, you know, you never know when a disaster is going to strike. And Relive is the best food storage anyone can have. I mean, truly, it has a two-year shelf life. You can live on our products. I mean, people have done it. Some people in my organization have done it with the approval of their doctors, and they were in better shape than eating normal food. So, you know, just just things to think about. But let's go ahead and open up um, what's happened. I, I had a good story I'll start off with. We have a person who, this is a person um, of Stephanie's, and my daughter lives in North Carolina, and uh, anyway, uh, lady put her husband on the product. He um, uh some pretty serious issues. And uh, they did a, a 35% order about 10 months ago. And then all of a sudden we get this email that, you know, they need to order the capsules they've been out. Well, come to find out they've been out for a couple months. And they really weren't thinking that the capsules were doing anything. And uh, they've been on um, the other basic products as well. But... To condense this story, um, she stopped taking the products, or he did, thinking that it wasn't helping him. He's got some very serious issues. Um, He's got, uh, in addition to uh, some cancer issues, he's got ALS. I mean, he's just really fighting a battle. And anyway, long story short, they go to church together, and Stephanie had heard about his what was going on and talked to them, and they got on the product. He got great results. But then, you know, like a lot of people do, they think, oh, I don't know if this is working. And, you know, I never worry when people get off. I always say, I'm going to charge you double to get back on at the service fee. <laughs> and uh, they all laugh. But uh, I think we should. That'd be, a, that'd be like a, a sixth form of income. Anyway, um, they, they sent this email desperately in it, you know, early in the morning yesterday. I'm talking with Steph, and she's talking. And come to find out, they stopped taking the product, and uh, they noticed dramatic difference. And she just could hurt. And she didn't order a little bit of the capsules. She ordered a boatload, a um, huge order. And it's just because we know the power of our product. So don't ever be discouraged when people that you have on the product get off. You know, when they get on the product and they take this product the right way and they get their results, they're you know, you're going to have a customer for life or a distributor. So let's open up. Let's go ahead. Who would like to share? Star six your phone, and when you're done, star six it again. You might be double muted, too. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I did that, if that means those of you that are on the computer, if you can't share. 
Um, hold on. I think that's what that means. So hold on just a second. But I'll tell you, when we get going, I might do the star four three again. So hold on. Okay. Twyla, can you hear me? So, yeah, you guys are unmuted, so I guess star six, your own lines at your home, just to, if you're not talking. Okay, is that Louise? It is Louise. I'm, All right. I'm like, Twyla, you muted me. <laughs> I know, sorry. That mistake, I've made sure that I've always muted myself, but um, this time, <laughs> thanks, Twyla, keeping me safe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I um I I have a, a similar story to tell you. I'm I'm really excited about it. Um, one of um my uh quick quick starts um from last month um is has a very serious condition called Bichette's and um and um it's it's an autoimmune disease and um but. I had put her in, in te- this is just the power of stories. She has, she had called me and said um, that she was, she was having really horrible issues back to back, more so on the product than she's ever had before. And, and I, <laughs> I just heard myself saying, oh, that's great. Oh, I mean, well, I'm sorry, but that means that this product is really working. Um, and and so, and I said, but you know what? I don't have the chef. I don't have autoimmune. So let's get you connected. Got to connect with a couple of people. Didn't she didn't hear anything that had anything to do with what was what she was going through? But she heard these ladies' experiences with their autoimmune. One gal backed off um, and and got great results. The other gal just pushed through. Said it was horrible, but she just pushed through. And um, and uh, coming out the other end, it it was a, a great success. At any rate, last night I met with her, and and she's in a lot of pain. She's got a lot of uh, different. She, well, anyway, she's in a lot of pain. Um, and um, and she said, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do what Kathy said. I'm just going to push through. I'm just going to do it because I, I I tried to look up on my own and I thought maybe it was counteracting with my meds. But what Kathy said, I'm just going to push through. And I went, oh, my gosh, the power of stories. You know, I mean, a lot of us feel like, oh, I don't know anything and I can't talk to anybody. And what if they say this and what if they say that? I don't know anything, but oh my goodness, the power of stories is just amazing. Well, I'll just say it very bluntly. The power of doing the business is amazing. I mean, it's it's like in any job, if we do the job description, things get done. And that's just part of of what it is. So congratulations, Louise. Very exciting. You're an inspiration to a lot of people. All right. Who else wants to share? Lauren's here. Hi, Lauren. Welcome. Hi. Thanks. We've had some fun activity. We have a, a newer distributor in our, org- our organization that um, she's just she's excited. Um, funny enough, she's not even on product yet, but that's how much she needs the business. Um, and so she's, she's getting on the stories. You know, power power of doing the business and power of stories. And, um, but she's just, I mean, that's how much she believes in Relive from what she's heard um, through other stories is that she's willing to say, you know, this is how much I believe that I'm not on these products yet. And I know that you need to be on these products, but so she's doing great. And I have a customer that's getting great results already. Like, well, when I heard from her, it was about a weekend on uh, Fit3 and she's super excited. Um, Just got really, really fast results. Um, and then sharing with somebody else that's doing fit three and just, yeah, lots, lots going on, just building up momentum. Well, you guys do have a lot going on and it's because you're working and, um, you know, it's been, um, it, it, this has been such an amazing time. I know that there are a lot of people that are working for this port of chip and then you have, you know, things that happen in your life, but yet no matter what, you know, if you really want to go towards something. I, re- I remember when Jim and I were first um, involved in Relive, 
I mean, we we went on every single solitary trip. I mean, I don't even know how many trips I've been on. I can't even count because and I'm not bragging. What I'm trying to say is that um, when you treat Relive, whether you're part-time or full-time, if you treat it, you know, as a business, and I always say, is this a business, is it an interest, is it a hobby? You know, hobbies cost money. I've had I've had horses, dressage, three-day eventing, you know, open stadium jumping, all that. That's a hobby. Very expensive. You know, is it an interest? That's fine. You know, that's maybe you're going to um, cover your cost, or is it a business? And when you run it like a business, you know, you look at, I don't know how many of you guys, we get the Wall Street Journal, and you look at all these different things, and it takes a while for your business to get going. And I think that's the most important thing, and it doesn't matter whether you've been involved, you know, two days, two weeks, two months, you know, two years, 20 years. Um, it doesn't matter how old you are. You're going to get out of Relive what you put into it, plain and simple. That's just how it works. So um, anyway, uh, if anyone else just says that I've lost my sound, I don't understand how that can happen. Um, it might be at your end, Lawanda. Um, let me get back to my phone here. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. And also, you might need to listen a little bit closer because I have a cold. Um, who else wants to talk today? Anybody else that wants to share besides Lauren and, and Louise? You know, I'm I'm happy that you guys are on it. Hey, and can you just put in the chat box beside it? Can you, Laird, Louise, can you hear me? Are we doing all right? All right, I'll just write this. Can you hear me? <laughs> I I can hear you. I'm not on the computer, but I, I can hear you. Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, oh, I don't want to do that yet. So what I'm going to do is I want to go, um, got all these things here. So one of the things that we said that we were going to do when, um, when we first started doing these trainings again, I guess I'll have to do it this one, was um, we wanted to make sure that we covered the comp plan because one of the things that I really feel and Tom feels and a lot of us feel, you can't move your business forward unless you know how how it works. So there's a couple parts of the compensation plan. And really, this brochure, what's your time worth? You know, this this really helps you go through. This is like a huge, giant cheat sheet that when you've, you're meeting with people and they say, well, you know, how does this work? What's it cost? You can just tell them right here what's the difference. Well, first of all, you know, if you want to pay $10, you get a 10% discount. It's an annual fee and 10% discount no matter what you buy, whether it's, you know, $100 or, you know, $1,000, you'll get a 10% savings for 10 bucks. And that's like, that's fine. So that's a preferred customer. Or if you want to pay $40 with an annual $40 retail, um, annual $40 renewal fee, then you get to be a 10% uh, profit. Or if you want to go ahead and make a larger order, you can get a larger savings at that time. But the neat thing about that is over your lifetime, if you accumulate $500 in retail volume, which that's easy to do, we, you know, a lot of us can do that in a couple months or a month. Um, I could probably do that in a week. <laughs> uh, but the neat thing is, is that uh, if you sponsor one person, you qualify for 25%. And most people go, oh. And then the other thing is you want to show them what their options are. So here's the danger of what I personally feel happens. We look at this quick start. And right now, a lot of you are... Um, that's what we want to do, get your 10 quick starts for the, uh, the promotion. But you want to be able to show them all their options. So the first one, so what, what I like to do is I like to start here and go back. And I'm going to show you on the other sheet how I do that. But I like to just say, look, you know, if I have a person who has a family, I'm just going to say this is the best position because what's going to happen is you're going to save a boatload of money. And, you know, like if you order this this month of September, for the rest of this year, and all of this year, all the way into January 31st of 2019, any product that you order, you'll get it at 40%. The first one's at 35. 
and then every order after that's at 40. And then I just like to explain to them, you know, your investment is 32.50, and if you, um, you know, eat that all yourself, you're going to save about $1,500. Or if you uh, share it and, and market it, you're going to save up to 1500 So plus your uh, shipping and handling. So then, then I like to say, well, you know, maybe if somebody goes, well, you know, I don't know, I, I just don't know. I said, well, let me show you some other options. And I'll show them the senior affiliate, which is a volume of 3000 investment, 1950 And I'll just tell them, you know, you can still get up to that because if you share this with a couple of people and if they order, you know, some of these other levels, I go, that will get you to the master affiliate level this month. And they're like, oh, okay. So key affiliate, 1500 uh, quick start, 500 I will tell you that, you know, when you look at this and you show people what their options are, a lot of, a lot of you will direct people towards the quick start. I've had that happen on an appointment where this person talked a lot. I told her, let's do the appointment. And we got to the end and I said, you know, where do you see yourself? You know, we've talked about a lot of things. What do you think? And he, he was really quiet. I knew what was going on. He's processing everything. For some reason, we tend to think that when we're brand new, when a person doesn't say anything, we think that they're going to say no. And she blurts out, well, I think you should do a quick start. And he goes, oh. He goes, well, if that's what you think. He goes, I was going to do the master affiliate. He goes, but a quick start's fine. So, okay, anywhere a person wants to decide to do is great, but let's show them the options and let's let them make the decision. And um, hold on one second. I need to mute the line because I need to blow my notes. Hold on. Okay, much better. <laughs> so that's the first thing is remember that you have that decision tool. And that's really something that I think that you should, everyone should have because whether you are on an appointment or you're out and about, people ask you, this is a great, big, giant cheat sheet. Okay, so the other thing is understanding the compensation plan, which a lot of us don't know. And this is something that uh, when I first started, Tom Pennick told me, he said, you don't need to know anything else. He goes, you don't even know any of the ingredients in the product, he said, but understand how the business works. Because that's what people get excited about is being able to put money into their pocket. And you know what? I believe everyone says that I just want to help people. I want to do that. There's no one on the earth that that um, can't say that having a little bit of extra income wouldn't help. Now, there's a difference between the love of money and having money. There's a difference. Money doesn't make you. It reveals you. All right? But everyone needs to have um, some extra income. So there's nothing wrong with showing them how this works. So, you know, you can go on. Let me show you where you get this. That's not it. Here it is. All right. So you can go on to your portal, and I'll show you where you can find this. If you go down under Business Tools, and then if you look under um, your, I believe it's where I get this, Print Tools, then you can go on here and, um, is this where I got it? <laughs> where did I get this? Uh, yeah. So here's the decision tool that I just showed you right there. So you can get that. Um, if you go over here and go into your... Where do I find this? Just a second. It's not a presentation media. It's a uh, training. Hold on one second, please. We have a technical difficulty. My brain is not remembering where I got this. <laughs> Actually, did you guys know that they're going to be changing this a lot? They're going to be doing a lot of different things. I know that it's right here. Anyway, it's um, product catalog, business opportunity, book lifestyle. Cost per serving, watch the demo, decision tool. This is not it. Um, I need to find where I got that. Because it's, anyway, I'm so sorry. But if you go on here, you guys, there's a boatload of stuff that you can go and look at all these different things that we would have. So one of the things, let me get back to this, is I would print this out when you find it, which I'm sure we will. 
I would print this out and I would, I, I save it in a folder. So I brought all this stuff up from the folder that I have. And um, take it with you. If you don't understand it when you're, you know, you're sitting in traffic, just glance at it, retail profit. You guys, I used to talk, I, I shared this before. I talked to my refrigerator. I talked to the refried beans when I would make taco salad. I mean, I talked to everybody and everything just so that I could learn what this is. And I would mess up, but it didn't matter. And it really doesn't matter. That's why you've got that decision tool that will help you. But this goes into a little bit more detail. This is all you need to know. And you need to learn how to do this on uh, a napkin, uh, you know, from your head. So if I was going to go through this, and I just briefly, and most of the people on, you, on here today, you guys are all leaders and you know how to do this. But if I was going to run through this, one of the problems I made in the very beginning is I thought that people needed to understand everything. I mean, it would take me an hour to go through this. But um, no, they don't. You know, you just need to basically say that, you know, we make income five different ways. The first way is retail. Um, you know, anywhere from 10 to 40%. And the great thing is anyone can take our products. I always talk about my grandpa that was 103 down my daughters that used him as their prenatal. Womb to tomb. You can take this. And when you retail $100, make anywhere from 10 to 40%. And that's a great thing. And people are going to start purchasing, um, you know, cases of product because they love it just like you. And, you know, let's say that this is a person maybe that I'm doing a follow-up appointment or I'll tell them you're going to love it. And I'll say then the great thing is that you can, you know, you're going to start ordering in cases. And what that means now is that you know, depending on where you're at, you can make a wholesale profit of anywhere from 5 to 30%. Um, if you have someone that orders from, from the company directly or if they buy it directly from you, that's when you're going to make that profit. And so I give them the example. If somebody orders at 30%, you're going to make, or 10%, you're going to make 30. Somebody orders at 25, you're going to make 15. Somebody orders at 35%, somebody, you're going to earn 5. And I do tell them, this is a great form of income, but the problem, and this, if somebody's interested in building the business, I will tell them that a lot of people get stuck here. They, they get stuck. And this is okay. This is, you want to have both of these forms of income. This is what makes a healthy distributorship. And I will tell you right now, for those of you that bypass this wholesale profit, for those of you that don't think that this is a huge part and you just want to bring in master affiliates, I will guarantee you that your business will implode. I've seen it happen over the, you know, two and a half decades that we live, or that Jim and I have done with Relive. That does not build a healthy distributorship. You cannot go out and, and guarantee that every single month you're going to bring in a master affiliate. And, and so you want to have that wholesale profit. Jim and I have never, ever worried about a $2,000 maintenance, ever. We, we started way back in uh, December of 1991, and we've never had that problem because we have a healthy wholesale, okay? But don't get stuck on that. The third form of income is override, and this is what um, gives you financial freedom. And let me show you how this works. You're going to be at 40%. I'll poke, you know, show them there. And if I'm at 40%, what's, you know, uh, zero, you know what, what's 40%? Zero of, of 40% and that would be zero. So what we do is we go over and I say, now that creates this third form of income. So what's going to happen is here you are, and let's say that you sponsored Susan. And you go out and Susan becomes a master affiliate just like you. Well, every time that Susan, and I like to talk about her house, which is the, you know, anything under the 40% in, in Susan's group, the 35 percenters, the 30, the 25, the 10 percenters, and the retail people, I tell them, any time that they order, you're going to earn 8% on that. And then I, I go down this whole way. Jim is 6, Wendy a 4, 3 and 2. And, you know, I tell them that's going to happen regardless of what you do. And what that does is that creates then those overrides. And I go, and let me show you how this works. Let's say that you go out and you have three Susans. That's all you did in your life is you created three healthy Susans. And in your life, you taught them to create three healthy Susans. And I give them an example, and I just say that, you know, it's not always going to look like this. But this is an example of three by three. Hold on just a moment, because <laughs> I need to blow my nose again. Hold on just a second. Okay. 
I should let you know, this just started um, Thursday night, so I think I'm almost at the end. <laughs> Feeling a thousand percent better. So um, here we go. Oh, Jim just told me where to go to Print Tools, Opportunity Book, Download the Comp Plan Guide. Okay. Um, all right, so you go into the power multiplication. There you are. You've got these three people. And I just tell them, if all he did is $2,000 a month, that's $6,000 in retail, and that's $480. What I will do if I was showing this and not writing it out, I would cover up that second, third, fourth, fifth level because people, they're not listening to you. They're looking at that bottom number, and their eyes are rolling because that's what I did. So I like to cover that up. And I just say, okay, if you earn $480 every month, Let's just say that, and then maybe you ordered a couple hundred dollars a month in your retail and wholesale profit. What would that mean? So let's, and I say, let's just even it out at $500 a month. You know, that, that's an extra $6,000 a year in your pocket. And, you know, that can pay a car payment, a car insurance, part of, you know, a house payment. That can pay you, that can definitely upgrade your, your grocery budget. You know, maybe it's a, a vacation savings. What was that too? And I would just say stop there. You know, if you never did anything else, stop there. But then we go down to the next level and I, and I go through the process and I go, okay, now you're making, you know, $1,500 a month. And let's say now you're making about $500 in your retail and wholesale. That'd be a couple thousand dollars uh, a month. Extra income. That's $24,000 a year. That's most than a lot of people make in a year. So what would that do? And they're like, oh. And then we go down to the next level. And I'll, I'll just show them, you know, you're now making about $4,000 a month. And what would that do? That's $48,000 a year. And then you go down. You're now over a six-figure income. And I tell them the truth that when I looked at this bottom level, when you've got, you know, uh, 243 Susans doing $2,000 a month at 2%, and you've got that total income of 18000 I'll tell them hard to believe, and I tell them the truth. I don't believe it. But the fact is, is that many, many people in real have done that. And um, that's just how, how it is. So, um, hold on. The other thing is that I like to let people know that we've got incredible, incredible um, uh, programs as far as uh, trips. And I'll tell them, you know, our bonuses. So we go into this, and I'll show them the the Puerto Vallarta challenge, and uh, bring this down. So I'm going to show them, you know, what they have. Oh, I don't want that to go. Oh, where do I do with that? Where's my print? Oh, download flyer, sorry. So I'll just show them this, you know, August 1st to December 31st. You've got time. You know, there's still four months left. You guys, there's four months left. And I honestly have to ask, how many of you are thinking, well, I don't know. You guys, get back excited about this. Ten quick starts, five masters. We've done that before. We've done more than that before. So, you know, if you earn that, you're going to go March 15th to the 18th to Puerto Vallarta. I believe this is the exact same place that we went uh, previously several years ago, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it sits right, I mean, you are right on the ocean. So, you know, I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I will talk about how they have, hold on just a second. I'll talk about how they have, you know, different bonuses. Um, you know, you might want to bring up all the different travels and show them all the different trips. Cancun, Sedona, Atlantis. I've gone to Atlantis twice. Love, love, love this place. Love it. It's one of my, it's, this is one of my favorite trips. And um, I don't know if it's because I ride on the Lazy River for two miles the whole time, but it's fun. Quebec, um, you know, Europe, there's all these different things. So there's those things. And then I'm going to go through, you know, we've got different things on the advancement level. And people will say, well, you know, how does, how does the advancement level work? And I might bring up this. And I'm going to talk about how you get to these different levels. I only do that if people want to know. But this is what I'm going to bring in. And I want to make sure that everyone here on the line understands this. So, get, you know, this is your, this is your road to presidential. I mean, that's why they call it a road. It's different, uh, you know, stops along the way. Not stops, I guess it would be a, uh, a destination. So you've got director, um, you know, it's when you bring them out. But after affiliate, you're going to earn a pin. Now you can start earning overrides. 
the very first time that you hit key director, whether that's a thousand dollars of uh, combined earnings, you guys, of your wholesale and retail profit in a single month, or a one month volume of twenty thousand, um, you're going to get a five hundred dollar bonus, and you get a pin. So you have a guaranteed that month of about of fifteen hundred dollars. That's pretty good. Senior director, first time twenty five hundred dollars in combined earnings of wholesale and retail. In a single month, you get a thousand dollars. So that'd be thirty five hundred dollars that month. Master director, combined earnings of wholesale and retail, it's four thousand in a single month, and you get a two thousand dollar bonus. So that's six thousand dollars. And look at this presidential combined earnings of override. The wholesale and retail, $8,000. So plus you get a $4,000 bonus. Plus you get the ring. That's $12,000, not to mention your star bonuses. So you guys, I briefly went through this. And I, I think you get the gist of this. You don't have to go into absolutely positively every single solitary thing. Else. You don't have to bring out, you know, the big um, notebook. I would just bring out um, your uh, decision tool or bring out this piece of paper, which I think is a really good thing. So um, with that being said, let me get back to this, and we'll get going. Anybody have any questions about that before I get started? Anybody have any comments or anything to add? I know you must have. Oh, I love this. Yes. Can you hear me okay? Um, I yeah. just wanted to, I just wanted to um, comment on the decision tool because um, that has in in my rustiness of um, of getting getting back to being very specific about uh, the plan. I have been using <laughs> the decision tool ever since it came out, and it it has made my life. Extremely easy. <laughs> um, I I like you go backwards. You know, here's here's the best position to be in. Then and then go backwards. But um, but it's it's so clear. It's so clear. And I have I have felt very confident that I've always been doing the the uh, compensation plan using this decision tool. And, yeah. um, and 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 then I have the the um, that piece of paper the for you know that the compensation plan that I give. But what I love is that I when I leave it with people, they can, they study it and they get come up with if they don't come up with a decision right away, they come up with a decision soon after because it's so clear the it's it's so clear about their investment. And and the potential of the return on their investment. So anyway, no, I, it is great, you guys. And I mean, everything is right here. You know, I was just looking at this picture up on the left. That uh, we were up at um, where were we? Oh, we were in Waikiki, and Jim's right in the middle. I'm right in front of him with my stupid big glasses. But we had walked up it was Diamond Head that day, and um, <laughs> it was. That was one of the funnest trips I've ever been on. And, uh, you know, I, I, you look on all these and, and you scroll down, you look at all these different things. And I love relive trips, you guys. They're so fun. But if you're not using the decision tool, you should be. All right, who else is going to share? Oh, and Robert and Lauren are on there, too. Obviously, they're so cute. <laughs> all right, who else wants to share? This is Christina. Hey, Christina. Hi. I just wanted to say that one thing about the comp plan that I love is that when you really understand it, you can write it anywhere on anything. One thing that we do at our Monday night meetings is we go over the comp plan and just how comfortable everyone is. And it's great seeing the, like the different parts that everyone really memorizes and really able to explain. I, for one, are, am now really comfortable just writing it on a napkin which I found I guess, to be the, I guess, the really, the realistic setting when you want to share the comp plan. You might not have a notebook. You might not have your um, digital screen with you, so you might just have a pen and a napkin. But when you really know the numbers and really able to explain it, then the picture is already there for you, and you just have to share it. 
you, know, you made a really good comment there, and I'm going to share this really fast. Sometimes when everybody goes in with all their digital stuff, um, you might be blowing people away saying, I could never do this. Because not everyone, except for millennials, not everyone is, is digital savvy. Or you can go in with a pen and piece of paper, and people are going to say, wow, do I have to know all this stuff? So, you know, when you go in and you can write it on a napkin, you can tell people that if you don't know it, here and you can bring your decision tool. You can tell them, you know, you can, this is all digital too. You can do it whatever way is best for you. And that's the most important thing to share is that if you are doing it on a napkin, just say it's available this way. Or if you're doing it digitally, say a lot of people just do it from their head. It's either way. So people know that they can do this. But thank you, Christine. And you know what? That, you know, you're much more comfortable talking about Relive when you understand how it works. <laughs> I mean, how, how would anyone open up a business um, and go out if they didn't get it. I mean, when we start, that's why you have the support of your upline. But the faster you learn this, the faster your business is going to grow. That's just how it works. So, all right. Anybody else? Hey, Koala. Hi, honey. Hey, when you were talking about that 18,000, couldn't believe that. Just remember on that uh, first level, we always, like I shared with you, we always ask people, well, can you see yourself finding three business partners? that can do 2,000 a month with a healthy customer base. And if you can see yourself doing that, then it's just only a matter of time till it grows to the 243 just through the power of multiplication. Right. And we've seen that happen to us over the years. I mean, it's just been a true, true blessing. And uh, yeah. And you know, you want, that, that's what's so fun about this, Jim, is that if you just start when you put the effort in, it will come back to you. And that's what's really fun. So, all righty. So I'm going to go through this super quick, um, super quick because I'm looking at time. But, I, I, you know, if that's all we covered today was the comp plan, that's the most important thing to cover is the comp plan, how we understand it. So I'm going to go through this probably in about 10 minutes, and we'll talk about the events and stuff. Um, there's a there's a circle of success with Relip. This is not like a smorgasbord. You know, when you go to that, you kind of pick and choose what you want. Um, if you pick and choose which part of these steps you like, and maybe you don't like other ones, that's fine. But you're not going to have the success that you would have if you apply all of them. So the first one, we talk about identify, connect, share the story, decision, register. Identify. Can you make your list? Um, it's important. You're going to think about somebody and make sure you have a pen and pad with you because what happens is that you'll be driving along and you'll forget about them. And three weeks later, you remember them, then you call them and they go, oh, gosh, you know, I wish you would have called me three weeks ago. Um, I'm on this other product. I'll let you know. Well, you just lost somebody. If you're prompted to think about somebody, follow through and do it. Um, here's the thing. When I make my list, I talk about you know, business and product, I go to the business people first because those are the people that are ready to take action, product necessarily or not. So that, that's what I do. Okay, connect. So what am I going to say? So many people. You know, what's really weird is people want to talk to people and then they'll go, let's relive. And then you're like, oh, oh I don't know. And you get so scared. You guys figure out what you're going to say, but just be yourself. I always say, be yourself. And I had a real issue with one of my distributors because they were like, um, I have to have something ready to say. I just can't be myself. Well, I, I just, hold on just one second, please. I have to blow my nose again. I just get stuffed up, you guys. Hold on just a second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I unmuted myself. You guys all heard that. That's funny. Sorry. Um, so sorry, but here we go. But anyway, just I think the most important thing is that if you have to think about what you're going to say to somebody, then you have to have this this set phrase. I don't know if I talk to them because you're you're trying to be something that you're not. Just be you. If you have to think about what you're going to say and go over and over, fine. But just be able to talk to that person, just like you were sharing a movie or a good restaurant. The goal is to set the appointment. You do not go and tell them and blurt out everything right then. Just set an appointment. All right. 
if you want to share the story, um, very important. When you uh, are setting that appointment, you're going to share the story. You're going to share all of it. You know, when you sit down for 10 minutes, I think it's important with this. I think there should be a point in here that says kind of um, listen to what they're saying. So if I have a, a 75-year-old person that I'm talking to and, you know, they are telling me that they just want to hear about the, the products, I'm going to go through that opportunity book. But how I'm going to get to the business side is I'm going to tell them, you know what, you've told me that you want to just hear about the products and I want to honor that. You need to understand how this works so that you can look at your options for buying the product at a savings, but also you're going to get great results and you need to understand how this works so that you can send people to me. And they're like, okay. And so I end up sharing everything. And I, I just did that in a way that's non-threatening. They're happy, and I'm going through the whole story. Again, I'm telling them, you're going to get great results. I, I, I know that you're not interested in the business, but you're going to want to purchase this product at you know a savings, and you need to understand how this works so that you can feel comfortable referring people to me. And everybody's all happy with that. All right, I share this. So um, how are we going to do it? We've got meetings. We've got in-home parties, webinars, calls, other distributors, your life, you know, lifestyle magazine. We've got the blog, the tools, all these different ways. Look at this sentence. You don't have to know it all. A lot of us think that we do. Ask for a decision. This is the part we just talked about. We get to the end, and you're like, okay. And then you're waiting for them to say something. They're not going to. They're not going to say anything. They're waiting for you. You're the one that, that's invited them. You're the one that's talking to them. So get ready. What I always say, and I don't like to say that this is a, a pat answer or a pat statement, but I will usually say, we've talked about a ton of stuff. What interests you? And usually people will say, well, I like the business, but, you know, a lot of people are going to say, but I can't really start the business till I get the product. Okay, then I'm going to probably connect them with Louise for somebody that didn't get their results at the beginning, but other people did. Or, you know, if they're real adamant about that, I'm going to say, that's great. Let's go ahead and get you enrolled. And then what, you know, what savings level would you like to, um, you know, or profit level would you like to come in at? Just show them. Be ready to go. Um, you know, I used to... Uh, I appreciate my husband because he was an Eagle Scout and he was always prepared for all the meetings. I'm the one that's not. <laughs> I'm the one that, you know, I didn't like coming in feeling like a bag lady carrying everything. What I realized is now the way that we have all of our tools and our distributor kits are not, you know, it used to be you'd have to have a forklift just to get six distributor kits. They come in this big, huge case that you couldn't lift. So uh, it's different now, which is really fun, but be ready to get people going. Very important. All right. Where do you want to get started? Here we are. Ask questions. Super pack or the fit three. Keep it simple. Look at ways that you know, show them how that they can save. And then who do you know that can benefit? <coughs> if they say they want to get build a business, get them started and um, review their options just like I shared. Um, customer distributor, master affiliate. Okay, then you want to register them, and then you want to go. And then you get them started. Just because they sign up, that's when your work starts. Um, when I'm on an appointment, right then and there, they take a shake. I always have product with me. So I will mix up. I like to do um, the now, the capsules, and the energize. Um, and, and the reason is, is that um, I love energize. And I'll, I'll mix up a scoop of energize. And I'll shake it up and I'll have them take a few sips and I'll say, is this something you could take, you know, two to three times, at least twice a day? And they're going to go, yeah. Then I'll say, great. Then I'll mix in probably a half a scoop an hour with that. And I'll say, mix it up and I'll say, can you take this? And they'll go, yeah, great. I just took their first shake. They know how to mix it. I showed them. I mixed it together. How many times do we call people and they mix it separately? So I do it right there. So if someone has, uh, it's real finicky with that taste, then I know they're going to need to buy 
a couple cans of Energize, maybe two or three compared to one can of Now. And I will start them out with full scoops of Energize and a pinch of Now, like a pinch of salt. And they do that twice a day. And they do that for three days. And on the fourth day, they go up to bigger pinches. And it might take us a month to get up to full scoops. But you know what? They've acclimated their taste. They're not objecting to taste. Usually it's texture. So that's what, in my quarter of a century of experience, that's what I've learned uh, has worked. So, um, you guys, what we've shared is a guideline, okay, on how to do this. So we set them up. We identify a list. We connect. Uh, let's get our first appointment set. Get them, you know, show them how to go through the, uh, the website. Let them know what's going on in the real world, the Monday Night Calls, the Tom and Tina Show, the blogs, the, the Facebook pages. Get them connected. I, When I have a business builder, I like to connect them to 10 new stories in the first two weeks. And those people that I've done that with are my, my people that are, are, you know, still master affiliates and they continue to always build. And if not, they're 35 percenters, but they've got huge groups. So always do that. Show them how to order. Show them how to register people. And uh, just get them set to, for success. We've got all these tools. I like tools. Don't, don't let that be a crutch. Sometimes we depend on tools too much. We are the best tool, all right? And, and real stories are the best tool. Okay, we've got this system where we do things every day, every week. We've got presentations, our meetings, our calls, our webinars, our trainings. Then we don't have maps. We've got the business, the BLT. This needs to be updated. Then we've got our uh, conferences. I think this is all going to be updated pretty soon. So um, build your relationships. Start the, those goals. Review the road to PD, which we did that already this morning. Let people know. What's it going to take? If they want to be key director, great. Um, I think that it's terrible when we set people up for to fail in this business. Hold on one second. I think that we need to let people know what the value of their business is. My husband is very, very good at that. You want a person making $4,000 a month, that's equivalent to having a million dollars in the bank. When you're making $2,000 a month, that's equivalent to having uh, $500,000 in the bank. When you're making, um, uh, and that's at a, like a 5% interest, but you can go on and down, but help people to understand what their business is for. All right, and we want to duplicate what we do. You know, some will, some won't. Um, so what? Who's next? That's how it goes. It doesn't matter if someone says no. I think everybody should be, if you're building the business, you should go for no's each day. That way they're not such a shock to you. And if you're having a good day, that means all the stars are aligned just right. You keep going until you do get your three no's. So those are good things. Oops. Hold on just a second. Um, why am I not? Okay. So let's go back to the system here. Let's talk about things that are going on in your area. I'm going to bring up the fact that on the 30th of this month in Portland at 9 o'clock at the Marriott at the courtyard, we need to get, uh, we're finalizing the uh, agenda, but we're going to have a great training. Jim's going to talk about the value of your business. He's going to break all that down. He's going to start that out. We're going to talk about what to do at the end of an appointment. Uh, we're going to have uh, talking about uh, joining um, uh, lead groups and how you do that, the benefit to that. We're going to talk about, you know, uh, follow-up, when is enough enough, and then how to build your business like when there's total chaos going on in your life because that seems to happen to the best of us. So that's going to be going on in Portland. Um, who else wants to share what's going on in your area? I think today the Utah group has stuff going on. I know I've seen some stuff come through. I think Mayor Hill might be there today. Um, I'm also going to be in Idaho in a couple weeks. Uh, I'll be up there the 22nd and 23rd. I believe we're going to be doing more individual appointments. We have a lot of appointments that we're going to do that worked out better than, you know, just a big event. So, again, we're adjusting to what's going to work. So, um, be up there in, in uh, Idaho Falls in Pocatello. So, anyone else want to share? California, anything? Okay. 
I don't think I have the phone to do this. Okay. So um, what was the other thing I wanted to share? Oh, I think many of you know that up here in Oregon uh, this last week we had a uh, group of 15-year-olds that have zero conscience that started a, a huge fire that has burned like 35,000 acres in our prestigious Columbia Gorge. Um, I think the reason that I have this is because just the air quality up until yesterday was the first day that um, we actually had air that you could breathe without a warning. Um, it's been terrible. I know that Doris Lysing Smith, her uh, son and daughter, live up in the courts. They were evacuated as were her parents. Uh, if we were living in our old home, we would have most likely been close to being evacuated. Uh, it's terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. So please uh, keep in your prayers and thoughts that those individuals, the firefighters, can get a hold of this fire because it's now headed west, which is up towards the Hood River. And um, while that's good, it's not coming. It threatened Troutdale, which is a a, a suburb of Portland, they have a level of evacuation, which is, I mean, we're talking thousands of homes. There were 3,000 homes that they were afraid were going to be affected, but it shifted. Now it's going back west. They were able to save uh, beautiful and Luma Falls. Uh, there are some structures that have burned, but they, they really have worked hard. Um, but Hood River is where you have a lot of your apples. It's the apple uh, producing uh, area in the world that and it's you know, there were, this fire jumped the Columbia River and started Washington on fire, all because some kids threw some fireworks over and literally, you know, they they filmed it on Facebook or not on Facebook and on their phones how they started the fire. So uh, we're grateful that um, there we have a cooler weather today, which is really a great blessing in being able to uh, uh, get control of this. Want to keep those individuals, Hurricane Harvey, in our prayers as uh, Hurricane Irma, it's going to affect a lot of people. I know Stephanie, which is up in the Carolinas, the least I think that they're thinking it's going to be a tropical storm or a level one hurricane in their area. This is going to impact a lot of people. So a lot of things going on in the world, and we want to keep all those individuals in our prayers. Anybody have anything that they want to comment or share before we um, get off the phone today? Those are a quiet group. Star six, your phone. Hey, Quiet, it's Christina again. Hi there. Hi, I just wanted to go back to, I loved what you said earlier about the story of letting your customer or future distributor contemplate. I remember at my first um, training in Pleasanton, Val Moody had brought up a similar story about how somebody who was looking to sign in, sign up, had been suggested to take the products, and she was saying that she originally wanted to go master affiliate. So it really goes back to what Tom had said, too, about how we have two ears and one mouth, and we need to shut up and listen more. We do. And he made that very clear when, when we first started. He just, I don't know, you know. We we just overcomplicate this so much, and I think that when you go in, when I do an appointment, you know, we always assume we're going to share the, you know, share we're going to do the same thing on every appointment. But if we're not going to be happy with the outcome of what a person says, then in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing relapse because. There's room for everyone. And we I've had people in my organization that were like a revolving door where people literally would co master affiliate just to get them off their back. And this individual gave you know, gave our industry the bad rap that it gets of the pressure part. Don't do that. Just let them know. And you know, if they say, Well, I, I need to think about it and I'll then I'll I'll come back and I'll say, Well, is there an area that I can give you more information? And sometimes we think, oh, you know, I did terrible. Debbie Grimms is on the line. That's what happened with her. I did this appointment, which I felt was the worst appointment ever, ever. And I remember I, I drove home and I was crying on the phone. I told Jim, I said, I just ruined it. You know, just said I did terrible because she said that they wanted to think about it. 
And then she got called me the next day and we were talking and she just said, yeah, I think we'd like to move forward. And, and, and they ended up coming in as a master affiliate without ever tasting the product. You don't know what people are looking for. So it's very, very, um, you know, somebody's calling me, so let me put this in a voicemail. You, you truly want to be able to uh, let people make their own decisions. So anybody else want to share anything that they'd like to share? Carla, this is Dorothy. On a, on a technical note, I had a really hard time getting in today because um, I used to go in through Safari and it wouldn't let me do it and, and it was giving me all kinds of crazy messages. And I, I finally had, I went in through um, Google Chrome, but um, it took me a while to to figure out what was going on. Dorothy, it took me too. And I have Chrome and I had to re. I had to reboot. You know, I wonder, and I, I have to think just stuff that's going on with our weather. I don't know, but it's like, how come I couldn't get on today? And this, I, I've normally been able to get on at a quarter tell, no issues. It's like, oh, okay, I'm thinking, you know, I might need to get on sooner than that just to be prepared because I had to reload up everything. So you're not alone, Dorothy. Um, I was like that too, so. It wasn't any fun. I was panicking. <laughs> I don't even know who was the first person on the call, but I, I know I was like, okay, welcome. Uh, I need to put you on hold. You greet everybody because i got to find out what's wrong. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Okay, then. Well, I hope everyone has a good week. You know, this is um, when you look at the way that the month is, we still have three solid full weeks. I will tell you next Saturday, I'm doing my first half marathon. I'm very excited about that. And um, that's going to be fun, so think about me at that time. <laughs> I need your wishes. And uh, and then that following week, uh, you know, we'll be up in Idaho. But, you know, this training, I want to commend everybody for taking the time. We live as a business that, you know, why are Jim and I still doing this, you know, on Saturdays? We've been, you know, a quarter of a century. We make a very good income. It's because what we do. It's what it's what we do. It's just part of, of our we're we're part we're like we live teal blood oozes out of us. So it's part of what we do and we're very grateful. Um all right. Well with that being said, I'm gonna end this call and uh let me end the call and everybody could say their goodbyes and we'll get moving forward here.